So I'm standing now, this is just outside uh, Munich University, and I thought I would uh, speak a little bit about the White Rose resistance uh, organization to the Nazi regime, uh, which was centered around this, um, this university, and, and the square we have here now is named after Sophie Scholl, who uh, was m judicially murdered uh, in early 1943 by the Nazi regime, and she was um, executed for leaflet dropping in this university and uh, leaflets against the regime. Only seven leaflets in all. Um, the basis of her belief, I should say, or basis of her anti-Nazism came back from Archbishop Galen, who himself is a bit of an unusual character in many ways. He was um, very German in many ways. He was very right-wing nationalist. He would be certainly uh, far to the right of the current uh, government in Germany. Um, he applauded the war against the Soviet Union, but he was anti-Nazi. He was a person who um, he was in his 50s when the, when the Nazis came to power, but um, he was also, after the war, uh, which he survived, he was also a thorn in the side of the occupation authorities and uh, creating all sorts of uh, havoc and uh, protests uh, there as well. Um, he didn't actually, his career didn't last long after that, but he died, I think it was in 1946. Um, he'd been to Rome to see the Pope about something and he came back and he died of appendicitis, um, if I remember rightly. Um, and he was, I think he was 67 when he died. Anyway, to return to the, uh, the White Rose, uh, which is what I want to really talk about, uh, here's the university building, and uh, in front of it we, have, uh, we see some of the leaflets. And the first leaflet that was dropped was a speech of the Archbishop, who allowed the, uh, this to be used in one of his... Um, uh, speeches to be used in one of, it, one of these leaflets. There we have bits, there we have a little bit there, and a little bit there. And, uh, obviously, this is just part of the leaflets. I doubt they've had photographs in them. Um, what is utterly clear, that after the total debacle in Stalingrad, um, resistance had a very good thing to resist. The reason for this was that, obviously, the Nazis were responsible for the loss of 250,000 Axis troops, the majority of which were Germans. Now, here, we can see, this is the entrance to Munich University. And here is the auditorium. Wonderful entrance. And it was from one of these um, place above when the students were away, as they are now, that Sophie Scherr threw the, um, the leaflets. This is the seventh. And coming down the steps, they discovered that not all of them had been thrown away. So they went back up the steps. It was obviously a shame to waste them. Threw them down. Caretaker, who was probably somewhere to the right down here. That's even what he is today, anyway. He saw he did it, he reported them to the Gestapo. The Gestapo arrested them. And then shortly after, in February 1943, and shortly after that, they were executed. The White Rose itself was based around one of the professors here at this university. And uh, for others, such as Gustav Probst, were medical students who had, who had fought or had been on the uh, Eastern Front and they knew perfectly well what was going on the crimes of the National Socialist Regime. And uh, when they returned to their studies, they uh, decided to do something about it. Now, here is a bust of Sophie, herself, only 21 years old when she was killed. Very brave. In 1921, 1943. and that was ordered by the White Rose Foundation. And here, on the other side, we have a, um, another memorial to the White Rose. 
for jobs. Today is Germany celebrated as he he uh, heroes, hero, heroes of the anti-Nazi resistance, and to the, the inhuman regime, which unfortunately also came to, came from Europe. And we have it with a list of some of the people. There's a brother Hans Schell, Rudi Graf, and Professor and others. And around here to the side is a little museum, which is conveniently open, only open during uh, hours when no one can get in, like from 10 o'clock to 4, four o'clock from Mondays to Fridays. I think you start by sales. And the, uh, so the museum here, the museum at university here, uh, I think nothing's changed much. The building has survived the World War II, and uh, one can imagine what it looked look like. It wouldn't have been possible to do it with any loose lids because there is a camera up there. Did it make any difference to sacrifice these lives? Unfortunately not. But I mean, from a symbolic point of view, of course, of no interest whatsoever to the victims who were executed, but they did save uh, Germany in the eyes of many. Their last uh, effort was, in fact, actually smuggled out and uh, to Britain, and it was used, it was dropped by the Royal Air Force.